And I look round in a state of fright I saw four faces, one man A brother from the gutter They looked me up and down a bit And turned to each other Bloody well into my cricket at the moment. Anyway, welcome to Saturday morning. Let's make some breakfast. So it's Saturday today, um, it is my last training session of the week this week but this week has been the biggest struggle just in terms of like accumulated fatigue. Um, granted I've also played cricket this week so I've added in the sort of cardio aspect of that as well so that's my own fault for doing that because that's definitely affected how I've been feeling as well. Um, but yesterday I did my penultimate session which was squats and bench and I literally just felt absolutely wrecked. Um, it wasn't just um, how I was feeling muscle wise, it was just in my head, my motivation, um, everything, I was just so, so tired. I got back from work, um, lay in my bed and I was just basically falling asleep. Um, it had just been such a long week and I was just so tired um, that I just, the thought of going to the gym was just horrendous. But I still forced myself to do it. I don't know if that was probably a good idea. Um, I could have potentially rested and felt a little bit better, but um, I'm glad I went. I got it done. I got all of the reps and sets done. Um, again, feeling absolutely knackered today though. Like it's really affected uh, my muscles. So I've got pretty severe DOMS today. So this last session of the week when I go in today is going to be really tough, it's deadlifts, it's the heavy deadlift session as well, so I've got to lift 225 kilos for a triple. Um, so yeah, just overall this week has just been really tough. But I think that's just an accumulation um, of the, the last few weeks, because obviously we've been building up. Um, so it kind of makes sense that things are starting to um, feel a bit grim in terms of sort of fatigue. Um, you know, but it is what it is. It's just one of these things. And what I do for a sort of a job as well, that's very mentally fatiguing. So it's sort of, you have to balance it with the sort of the physical side of the gym and the mental side of um, what I do for a living as well. So it was fairly ironic on Friday. I was actually 
delivering a presentation to a number of patients and healthcare professionals about uh, the importance of exercise to manage your fatigue. So it's quite interesting how that's actually completely flipped and I'm basically not uh, taking my, well I'm taking my own advice but it's not working for me because obviously with powerlifting it's just too extreme, like you're doing, you, you know, you're putting your body through absolute hell at the end of the day so um, there's no wonder I'm feeling pretty fatigued at the moment. Anyway, plans for today, um, I'm going to eat this, give myself a little bit of energy hopefully um, and then off to uni to go and have a look around the uni campus near me uh, because I'm thinking about um, taking up a course um, very related to what I'm doing now currently in my job. Uh, so I'm going to meet up with Aaron, we're going to do that for a little bit and then I'm going to go and train. And as you can tell I'm really excited about that. So I don't know about you guys but when I'm eating my food, having my breakfast, whatever, I like to um, learn things. So I normally put on podcasts, something like that, or I listen to a sound fact. Welcome to the You can't fold a piece of paper in half more than seven times. Bloody hell, he's right. The boy is a genius. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> Do I want a cheeky little arm shot? I don't. Oh, cool. Are you still going? Wow, that's not awkward at all. I think he's going to like this one. You make me feel so in inferior. Is that the word? Inferior. Insuferior. <laughs> you feel so insuferior going to them. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that again. You make me feel so inferior. Like you're a real man. You're gonna do stuff That's what hard work, dedication and a whole lot of trend gets you. Trend. Bit weird. That's kind of not really a thing. I hope you're hungry, mate. Can't look back on that. I didn't think it was going to be that big. That's what she said. <laughs> it only cost me three quid first. I'm literally going to absolutely smash this as well. You need it for the recovery. I am officially defeated. No, come on. No, I can't do any more. You want to take it home a little doggy bag? I'll take it home, but I, yeah, I can't yeah, finish it now. I think we need to uh, switch to the liquid diet now. So, 
Yeah. yeah. It's a little chilly, I'm not gonna lie. It was yeah, it was yeah, warm yeah. when we came out. Yeah. It's like Oh my god, it's really beer like jacket, that's the answer. Yeah. yeah. It's beer jacket. It's not freezing. If I'm freezing it means it's just cold. <laughs> <laughs> So they've uh, they've decorated it in here now, mate. So uh, anything you, anything you notice about the decorations on the the wall over there? Oh 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 yes. I must say this clearly. Though. That's the only point. Welcome to the opposite side of each dice always adds up to seven. So. Six is opposite one, four is opposite three, and two is opposite five. For a bit of context, there's dice over there. Always adds up to seven. This week has been tough. Um, feeling absolutely battered. Not just physically, just emotionally, just with work and just everyday stresses. Um, I'm just glad it's the end of the week. It's Sunday now. I can draw this week to a close and refocus again next week. Um, I've already spoken to Joel, who's my nutrition coach, um, and have said that this week has been a write-off. I've not been tracking, um, I've not been sort of getting in contact with him, so this week will be better. I'm already focused and determined that it's going to be better. Um, in terms of training, I'm going to be deloading, so I don't really have to worry about really pushing myself. Um, obviously, I want to go in and focus. I want to be like making sure that the movements are moving well, but I know that I'm not going to be absolutely hammering myself and I'm not going to be um, aching by the end of the week. So I am looking forward and looking up and being positive for next week. I think especially with things like the diet, um, I just have to remember it's short term grind for long term gain, um, which is a bit of a cliche saying, but it's, you know, it's like you just have to work hard now, but it will be worth it in the end. Um, and I suppose that's true with anything in life, you know, working hard um, with what you do for work in terms of what you do in the gym. So, you know, everything's a little bit of a grind, but it's always worth it in the end. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video now, guys. Um, sorry, it's been me just moping pretty much the whole time. Um, it will be better next week, hopefully. Um, but I'm going to go meet up with Harry from Team Finneverlee now. So he's in Bristol. Uh, we're just going to have a good catch up because I haven't seen him for a while. So I'm going to go and grab some lunch with him. Um, should be a good time. But I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please leave it a thumbs up if you have. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.